uh, I'm very, very sorry for your loss. Thank you. Th thank you for coming. Sure. Um, Alex, this is Haley Santos. Hello. Hey. I'm... I, I don't know what to say. Um, I'll never forget Dimitri's kindness. I believe you're quite handy with the sword. <laughs> Dimitri tried to teach me to fence. He was very patient, and he had a great sense of humor, thank God. <laughs> <laughs> you were very important to him. I don't think he'll ever know how much he meant to all of us. Yes, I think he does. It was a beautiful uh, service, Alex. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, I couldn't have done it without Edmund. He contacted everyone, all the family. Did you meet... Uh, Dimitri's son, Anton, and his mother, Corvina? I did, briefly. It's too bad they had to go straight back to Budapest after the service. I think Angelique is going to stay for a little while. Did you meet her? She and Dimitri had quite a history. He told me. Uh, where is Angelique? I'd kind of like to catch up myself. Upstairs with Eugenia. I didn't see the uh, Duchess of the Service is she okay? This whole thing has been such a blow to her. I, she didn't have the strength to leave the room. I see. Well, I kind of like the old girl. I'm going to go up and check on her, if you'll excuse me. Oh, good Lord. Everyone's arrived ahead of us. I should have been here first to get the food ready. What would Dimmy think? She's, uh, taking this pretty hard. Yeah, she doted on Dimitri. He was like a son to her. I didn't expect to see you here. Well, thank you for coming by. I just, uh, I wish I knew about it sooner. I know how much you loved him. And I loved him, too. <laughs> he was, uh, he was really there for me when a lot of people weren't. Except you. You know, when I was a little girl, you always made me feel so grown up. And that was one of the things that I loved most about him. And now that I'm grown up, you, you could make me feel as safe as a child. <sighs> How can a man that was larger than life no longer be? Be brave. Not for Dimitri, not for me. I know. I'm sorry I'm supposed to be comforting you, and here you are. Here I am spending time with one of my favorite people. <laughs> you know, it'd be crazy if it weren't for people like you who make him seem so close. Yeah, he's gone, but everywhere you look. You hold on to those memories, okay? Maybe it'll make it easier for us. It's neat. At least you'll make Peggy feel happy, okay? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Erica, how are you? Well, Myrtle's taking very good care of me. I thought maybe, uh, Palmer might have come with you. No, he sent a telegram expressing his condolences, but he's actually sailing on someone's yacht in the Mediterranean, a baron or something. Is he really? Mm -hmm. oh. Myrtle, can I get you anything? No, no, darling, thank you. Dimitri is the one who should be laying me to rest. I still can't accept it. No, neither can I. She's made herself quite at home, hasn't she? Well, Alex looks calm enough now, but I saw her when she thought she was alone, and the look on her face would have broken your heart. I wanted to see Dimitri's face. And so did Edmund, and so did you, Peggy. She's just made it much harder on oh, everyone. Darling, darling. Danny, you've got to remember that 
the, the poor girl should be on her honeymoon. And, and here she is, a, a widow. Dimitri and I were soulmates, Myrtle. Now, no one can deny that I was the love of his life, not her. Erica, I just wanted to thank you so much for coming. Well, of course. Where else would I be? Mrs. Marek. Or do you prefer Countess Andrashi? You can call me Alexandra. Or Alex, if you like. Alex. We're... We're truly very sorry for your loss. Thank you. The last few days have been torture. But I'm... I'm so glad to meet people from Dimitri's life. Dimitri had such an enormous effect on so many people's lives. With his generosity. He was always helping people. Ah, uh, Brooke, actually. I know that you've met Brooke. Well, at one point, Brooke was accused of murder. And Dimitri actually moved heaven and earth to get her acquitted. Unfortunately, Brooke took his concern the wrong way. She felt there was a possibility of, of real love between them. But Dimitri was so dashing. Women were always throwing themselves at him. I've learned volumes about his kindness towards others since I've been here. And he told me how your devotion to Bianca inspired him. Really? Yes. He did talk about you a lot, Erica. And with great affection. Ah, uh, everybody, since we didn't have a real old-fashioned wake, let's raise a glass to Dimmy. To the most generous, the most noble, the most lovable rascal that ever walked the earth. To Dimitri. Here, here. I believe that I knew Dimitri better than any woman ever did. I married him not once, but twice. He taught me everything I knew about love and about patience which was a very difficult lesson for me to learn. And he also taught me so much about, about forgiveness. But I tell you what, Dimitri, I will never forgive you for this, for doing this to us, for dying, and for leaving us here that we have to find our way without you and your light. Dimitri and I were cousins, but he became more of a father to me than my own. And hungry, no matter what language we spoke, he always understood me. He was just so kind and... and loving, and... and hungry, he was a, he was a count, he was a nobleman. But to me, Dimitri... is the most noble man I've ever known. Well, you know, uh, Dimitri and I grew up not knowing that we were related. And when I came back into his life as his brother, I called him an elitist pig and he called me a thief. <laughs> Those were the good days. And you know, <clears throat> it didn't get better for a long time, but out of what we endured, grew a, a strength and a freedom that, that made me who I am. And I'm a better man because of Dimitri. You know, when my wife died, um, he kept me sane. And I... He showed me love through, through family. And um, he, he saved my spirit then, and he saved my life later. And I'm just... I, I wish that I could have done something to bring... When Dimitri first told me about Pine Valley and... Wild winds, you know, they were just names to me. Entertaining stories about a faraway place. Uh, but as I got to know him better, these places and the people in this room became as real to me as our love for each other. 
We had a dream of settling here and raising a family. That dream is gone now, along with my precious husband. But his gift of love will be with me. I think with all of us. Forever. Is it, darling? Oh, I don't know. I, I just always felt that Wildwind was my home. Even when Dimitri and I were apart, I always felt that with Dimitri and I, there was always the possibility of... Oh, who knows? And so Wildwind was really... A, a symbol for me, you know, of, of what might be. And yet now, now with, with Dimitri gone, I, I'm feeling maybe it's just a reminder of what was. And Dimitri will always be in my heart. But maybe I'm ready to move on. I'm leaving. I, I, oh, I have to get out of here. Where are you going? I, I'm not sure. Do you want me to come with you? No, 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 no. You stay here. I'm fine, Myrtle. Really, I am. I'm fine. I'm sort of on overload. Well, listen, maybe I should take you home. You know what? I think I'm going to go back to Tempo and, uh, and work a little bit on that profile on Dimitri. Okay, maybe later you'd like to sneak out, grab some lunch. We'll celebrate life. <laughs> I don't know if I remember how. I'll see if I can give us both some pointers, huh? Let's go say goodbye to Alex. Excuse me. Hmm. I just want to say if there's anything... You need anything at all? No, you've done so much already. Thank you. I'll give you a call, Alex. Uh, you don't have to pick up the phone if you don't feel like talking. Oh, you're so kind. <laughs> Your heart is as big as Dimitri said it was. Okay. You'll... We'll get through this, huh? <clears throat> Somehow. Listen, um... Take all the time you need. Because there isn't any reason for you to... to, uh, rush back to work until you're ready, all right? Uh, <clears throat> thanks, Burke. I, I don't know what I'm doing one minute to the next. Be kind to yourself. 